You're watching the new home for live Grizzly Athletics on the Grizzly Digital Network. We would like to thank our corporate sponsors who have made today's game possible. For more information, log on to grizzlyathletics.com. Now, here's voice of the Grizzlies, Matt Mahoney. Welcome, everybody, to Grizzlies Live here at Nuke Cedary. I'm Matt Mahoney, and glad to have everybody aboard here. Big thanks to Greg and Bill and the great staff here at Nukes as uh, weather is turning over here, a bright sunny day in Lawrenceville, um, so are their orders as they get multiple orders every single day for catering. It's part of their, one of their biggest businesses is catering, believe it or not, but uh, we're glad to have everybody here in store in, at uh, Nukes in Lawrenceville. We're joined today by uh, our senior on the men's tennis team, Bruno DeBerti. Bruno, how are you, bud? Good, how are you? You good? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's been a while since we've seen you guys. I mean, it's been like what three weeks since your last your last match. That's true. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've been taking off. Like we, do, we got some good vacations, but actually, those weeks were good for us to get ready for nationals. Like we, not we don't even focus on conference. We're just focused on nationals. Yeah. And um, getting re being in shape and and I don't. Know, Get ready just for like that tournament is right. kind of tough. Yeah. Well, 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 we'll talk about the tournament. We'll talk about the conference level and stuff like that. Uh, Chase couldn't be our, our head men's tennis coach and women's tennis coach. Chase couldn't couldn't be here today. He's at a conference call to make. So you're you're filling in for Chase, just so you know. Those are some big shoes to fill. And from what I hear, you you got a pretty good Chase Hodges impersonation too. So I, I won't ask that from you. But if it comes out, it, 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 that's okay too. You know. <laughs> what, what what would Chase say? What would be his pregame speech to the guys before the conference tournament this weekend? Before the conference tournament? Yeah, what would he tell you guys, you know? Uh, okay, come up strong. That's yeah. the first he thing he says. says. Uh, let's get the three points in doubles. Yeah. And, uh, well, actually, the conference, we played already the, we're top seeded. And uh, the second seed is uh, Xavier, that we already beat them. So we don't want to sound cocky, but we know we're going to take the tournament. And I think what's great for you guys have been ranked high all year long. You're the number one seed going to the conference tournament this weekend on Friday and Saturday. But you know you got to take care of business. You know, it's, there's no question marks. Hey, we're the best team here. We hey, have to take care of business. Is it, that kind of the attitude? Hey, it's on us. Like if if we can uh, we can lose if we get hurt or if we don't focus enough. Right. But uh, it's it's on us, and that's it's a good feeling, and it's we feel the pressure as well. How do you guys deal with that pressure? Because I know you, the guys are pretty tight. You guys just laugh and joke with one another and stuff like that. But whether it's the one line in singles or the six line in singles, everybody's got a job to do, right? Every, every point counts as one. It's not, there is no difference with that. Uh, the pressure at the end of the day is what we like. And uh, I love, I don't like on the court, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. But then uh, next to you in the, Next a couple of years, you're gonna remember that moment, and that's the moment you enjoy the most, actually. And uh, those moments, the great moments, are in front of us, hopefully here. But uh, help me understand something here for tennis. We're gonna go to the, it's got a weird name, unaffiliated AII Sooner Greater Athletic Conference or something. It's like all these teams. Okay. It's crazy. So, yeah, but basically, know. what 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 we need to know is it's the conference level is this weekend, Friday and Saturday, right? We're the top seed. The winner of that then goes to nationals. What you guys have been focused on nationals all year long, but what, what does this weekend mean to you guys getting ready for that first step in postseason? It's actually going to be good for us because we haven't played in a while, like you said, and um, build a team environment and uh, get together and play as a team is always good. Uh, I think it's always. Even if we lose, we're going to qualify for national, I think. But uh, it's, it's good to be undefeated. And uh, not many schools know about us since we're right. a new program. And uh, I know by fact that some of them are scared of us. <laughs> so, and that's good. So if, if we keep winning and we right. keep this uh, undefeated record, it's going to look good on Nationals. Now the way the schedule lines up, you might you guys are gonna have to play two matches on Friday. We haven't done that this year. Is that something abnormal for you guys, or can you handle that? Uh, it's tough, especially because I checked the weather in New Orleans. It's gonna be it's gonna be hot, but it's good. It's I'm I'm taking this tournament as a preparation for nationals and to 
get in shape, get ready mentally, physically. Uh, I'm not scared of this tournament, but uh, it's important to get it uh, for our confidence and for a team unit. In this conference tournament, it's just eight teams, single elimination. You win that, you go to Mobile, Alabama. That's the national championship we've all been talking That's about. That's all we want. 24 teams are going to be there, the best teams in the NAI. You don't want to put the cart before the horse, but what goes through your mind when you just think about Mobile, Alabama? I think about it every night, actually. Uh, I've been there. I played that tournament twice already. And uh, the environment is exciting. You, get, you go to a hotel with every single team is there. They all, you know, you share looks with everybody. And um, you're under stress that week. And, but you just want to focus on, we have a goal. Some, some of the teams don't have a goal. They know they cannot win the tournament. We know we can do it, and that's why we got to stay focused and be sure we do the best we can. To and, the and what's great about that, that national championship, 24 teams, it, it takes a whole week in, into the equation, and, and the best teams are going to rise to the top there in that situation. And you said it, you've been there before. Your previous school won a national championship. How do you draw from those experiences, and how do you share it with your teammates getting ready for somewhere they've never been before? Uh, it's... When we won the Nationals, we were city number three, like, like us right now. <laughs> and I, I thought about that, but uh, it's totally different because now I have a more talented team here. Uh, as tennis players, they're better. But my team in Oklahoma, like, we, when we played the final against Fresno Pacific, the other team was just like us. They were new. No, no, they were, they were not new, but they were talented and were uh, good on every spot, better than us. So, but something happened. We, we won two doubles with, on tie break, 9-8, 9-8, 1-3, and, and then we won uh, three singles, very tight, and that's something that can happen. We could have lost 5-0 in 20 minutes, <laughs> but we won 5-4, fighting every single point. And uh, that's something that I don't want to happen to us because I know we're more talented than the other, the other teams. But at the same time, you know, you can lose. If yeah. two players don't play good, if someone feels the pressure, if someone gets tired. So we're gonna make sure we, we're not gonna get tired. We know what we want and uh, take care of business. And probably the toughest decision Coach Hodge has to make is who plays where, one through six. Well, you know, your best player, one, two, three, four. If you had a chance right now to talk to Coach Hodges, and I'm sure you will later on, where does Bruno DiBerti want to play on that lineup? Oh, I want to play a guy that was in my previous school that I hated that guy. So, and I know he's going to play two, so that's why I asked Chase to play this guy. It's going to be mentally tough, but uh, I'm very confident to get this point for the team. Uh, the lineup is... Not always who is better, who is. It's very. AUM, who is city number two, set up a lineup against us, very smart. And um, it's a lot of strategy in the lineups. Yeah. And, uh, but at the end of the day, you gotta run, you gotta put the ball over the net, and, <laughs> and grind the match. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. You, you said it earlier here, and I, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay, I, I try to do the chase every week, but he always ducks my question, right? Okay. What was the goal this season for the men's tennis team? You know it, right? right it's winning the national championship. Being number one seed or whatever, we don't care about that. Like, we just won the ring, yeah. and um, if we don't get it, it's going to be a disappointment for everybody. I know that. And that's the pressure we're feeling right now, and that's why... We're getting ready, and uh, we don't want any like injury or because we get tired, we lose a match. Yep. We don't want any of those aspects to affect us. Well, Bruno, uh, thanks for stopping by. I greatly appreciate filling in for Chase. Thank you. Um, <laughs> good luck. I mean, you guys we'll take need off it. We'll need it. pretty early tomorrow morning, don't you? We leave tomorrow morning, early in the morning, yes. Tomorrow morning, taking off for New Orleans. Uh, so uh, check out our website, Grizzly Athletics. Stay good in touch with our, both our men's and our women's tennis team as they travel to the conference level tournament in New Orleans, Louisiana this weekend. We'll take a break. We'll come back with a couple of uh, special guests here, including 
senior, what is he, outfielder, first baseman, catchman, Sloan Strickland on our uh, Grizzly baseball team. We'll take a break. This is Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedary on the Grizzly Digital Network. Are you tracking the very latest with Grizzly Athletics? Stay up to date by following Grizzly Athletics on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can join the conversation by using the hashtag Grizzly Athletics all season long. And as always, catch all the recaps, stats, and news on grizzlyathletics.com. Don't be left out. Follow all the latest with Grizzly Athletics online. As a member of the NAIA, Georgia Gwinnett College is responsible for the actions of its coaches, student athletes, faculty and staff, fans, boosters, and alumni. We are committed to the principle of institutional control and operate in our athletics program in a manner consistent with the letter and spirit of the NAIA and Georgia Gwinnett College. We expect our student athletes to be model students in the classroom by offering academic support services in a variety of ways throughout their collegiate career. From study halls and tutoring to mentoring and personal growth and development training, GGC puts academic success at the forefront of our mission. Go Grizzlies! Hello, I'm Dr. Darren Wilson, Director of Athletics at Georgia Gwinnett College. Our administrators, coaches, and staff are proud to be one of the newest members in the NAIA. We aim to uphold the NAIA Champions of Character principles by promoting a positive climate for growth while fostering relationships within Georgia Gwinnett College, Lawrenceville, and Gwinnett County. In addition, we embrace our core values for the Grizzly Athletic Department, sportsmanship, leadership, service, responsibility, and pursuing excellence. Our mission is to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedar. We're joined now by senior. What are you? I know you're a senior, but what I'm position senior. do you play? Uh, first base, DH. Uh, I can catch a little bit, outfield, shortstop, whatever he tells me to go to. <laughs> I can do it all. Hey, Sloan Strickland. Sloan, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, golly, it's been forever since some of us have seen you guys play in person. You guys have been away and it's whatnot. Had games rained out. What's, do you like playing on the road? Um, it's fun. We get to take, you know, road trips on the bus and uh, we have a good time and stay in hotels and uh, but uh, there's nothing like playing at home yeah. in front of the crowd and uh, I think it's been like three weeks now. Yeah. We've had a couple of rain outs and it's just prolonged it and but uh, yeah, the road's fun but it gets a little tiring sometimes. Now you're not just playing at home for some regular old game tonight. Uh, you're no. playing uh, North Georgia, 7 o'clock. People should start getting in the ballpark, I don't know about right now, because we got <laughs> senior day stuff going, yeah. senior night. Um, senior night. When I say senior night and last regular season home game of the year, what, what does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot. I think if we weren't hosting the regional, yeah. it'd mean a lot more. But since we do have some more games, like for sure at our field, then uh, it's going to make it a little easier. But it's still going to be emotional. You got the parents there and all that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one more football you know you got high school senior night and yeah. this one it's your last one and it'll be fun we're gonna try to go out there and do our best and get a w should be good you're gonna play a good team in north georgia north too a good close team. game uh, good last team. week so again encourage the people to come on out uh, i think we'll start seeing great stuff about 6 30 so uh seriously yeah. start getting to the ballpark right about now yeah. um let's reflect a little bit here um been on the road a lot recently you, you saw faulkner again when i say faulkner and they're number three in the country what, yeah. what what, what, what comes to mind when I when I bring that present to the table? Uh, I have to say hate. Yeah. They're a really good team, and um, each time we played them this year, we battled with them, and they just came out on top. And uh, but you know, it really it really I don't know how to say this, but it really made us mad. Yeah. In a nicer term, and uh, we just hope we see them in the World Series so we can you know give them give them a loss and. Uh, but when you got two great teams like that going head to head, it's always fun. Yeah. Uh, we, I just wish we could have came on top, but uh, hopefully we'll see them again. I think I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it. New baseball poll comes out yesterday. We were number four, now we're number six. Do so those numbers even matter to you guys? No, they don't matter. Um, we're taking care of our business. You know, we're getting 40 plus wins. We're going to go to the conference tournament. We're going to try to win that and come back. We'll be in good position. And uh, it'd be nice to be, still be in the top five. It's not that big of a deal. Right. We'll be there at the end where we need to be. And, and paint the picture for me. Set all this stuff up for me. You guys are going to have senior senior night tonight, yeah. and then next week you're headed to Boston for the, the conference-level tournament. 
And then after that, we get to host the opening round right here in Lawrenceville, the Grizzly Baseball Field uh, Complex, I should say, May 12th through the 15th. What is, put all that stuff in perspective for me. What does it mean to you guys? Um, well, for us seniors, it means that, you know, we don't got that much, that much time left. Yeah. And uh, so we gotta go out there and play hard. And it's gonna be a fun couple couple weeks coming up. And uh, it's kind of stressful right now with school and finals <laughs> and all that. But we can't wait to go on that plane and go to Boston. And, and you gotta, fun. you need to. I don't know. Well, you want to. Let's put it that way. Yeah. If you need to, you want to win that conference level tournament. Definitely. To be the top seed and be the host here uh, on your home field, and then that tournament sets up the World Series in Lewiston, Idaho. So that's kind of the process that you guys are going to have to go through here. Yeah. Um, is it important to you guys? Obviously, it's more important to win at home for the opening round, but is it important to win up in Boston? Oh, definitely. Uh, we don't want to go up, go up there and just, you know, fiddle around. We want to go up there and win <laughs> it, come back, get a number one seed, and uh, set us up good for the regional and hopefully get to the World Series. But, but yeah, Boston is just as important as the regional. Yeah. It's something we want to do. We want to win that championship and then come back and win the regional. So now, we don't take it lightly. You guys uh, are going to fly up to Boston early next week to get there. Tournament's the second through the fifth, I think. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, do you, what do you have planned for the flight? I mean, you got to get your headphones. What, what, what do you plan on operating there? Well, I'm just, like I told you earlier, I'm excited just to go and get on the plane. I've never been on one. And, uh, well, I've been on the small one. Yeah. And I went skydiving, and that was the first time I've been on a plane. So I jumped out of it, but I've never been on a Delta <laughs> flight or anything like that. You've, so never, been on a plane, you've never been on a plane that's landed. Yeah, I've never, been on a plane that's, I've never landed on a plane. So that, that's, like, my cool story in life. So it'll be a lot of fun. Like, have you talked to any guys on the team? Like, do you, you know, I mean, do you know to pack some gum or bring a magazine or something? A book? Uh, I want to take your advice and bring a pack of gum. Yeah, that's that's so that, my ears don't must, pop. Yeah, must do, must do for sure. <laughs> um, you guys are going to come back here again May 12th through the 15th um, with a chance to go to the World Series. I mean, the first year postseason eligibility, yeah. you have a chance. I mean, forget if we go or not, just to have a chance to go to the World Series. How special is that for you guys? That's real special. Not a lot of people get to do that. And, uh, Last year sucked because we weren't eligible to do anything. We were done like late April. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we're going to go out there and take care of it. And you guys have had some special moments this year. I mean, just, oh, just tell me if I, I'm forgetting anything here. Uh, 41 season. You won 20 games in a row. You're going to host one of those opening rounds. And probably the two of the coolest things was you got to hang out with Johnny Ventures, Johnny Venters and, yeah. and Domingo Ayala, the internet yeah. sensation. So yeah. like, I, I put this season into words, man. It's pretty cool. It's been awesome. It's flown by, and uh, we've had so much fun. Another cool thing is that right now we're still under 10 losses, and I just hope we finish out under 10. That'd be awesome. Not a lot of people do that at all. You know? But yeah, it's been a blast, man. I couldn't ask for a better senior season, better teammates, just a family. And uh, so I got some work to do, but yeah. uh, we're looking forward to it. Have, did you ever get a, a phone call or a text message from somebody that recognized you in the, the, the Domingo video? Uh, I have not. No. <laughs> I've only seen it one time, so uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah. But I don't think anybody's recognized me yet. Fair unfortunately. Enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, uh, Sloan, um, good luck tonight, man. Thank not, you. not only in the game, but you Thank know, you. senior day stuff. Who, who's yeah. uh, who's joining you there on the senior day festivities? Uh, I think right now my mom and my dad and my sister. Yeah. And I think my grandma's coming, my girlfriend. So. I'll have a nice little crowd support there, yeah. so it'll be fun. A little emotional, but uh, yeah. hopefully we get the W for them. You can check out the Sloan Strickland and the rest of the Grizzlies tonight. First pitch is 7 o'clock, but trust me, you're going to want to get there a lot sooner than that. We'll have coverage of Senior Night Ceremony uh, right here on the Grizzly Digital Network as well. He's Sloan. I'm Matt. We're going to take a break. We'll have uh, his, uh, his boss, his head coach, Brad Strombel, right here. Grizzlies Live in Nuke Cedar on the Grizzly Digital Network. As a member of the NAIA, Georgia Gwinnett College is responsible for the actions of its coaches, student athletes, faculty and staff, fans, boosters, and alumni. We are committed to the principle of institutional control and operate in our athletics program in a manner consistent with the letter and spirit of the NAIA and Georgia Gwinnett College. We expect our student athletes to be model students in the classroom by offering academic support services in a variety of ways throughout their collegiate career. From study halls and tutoring to mentoring and personal growth and development training, GGC puts academic success at the forefront of our mission. Go Grizzlies! Grizzly fans, you can purchase your season passes today. Packages are available for the fall or spring or all sporting events throughout the 2013-14 season. 
can find out more information by calling the Office of Athletics at 678-407-5275 or by visiting the game day ticket window. Single game discounts are available on game day, including youth, senior, military, and group rates. Tickets are selling fast as the Grizzlies take the field and compete for postseason championships for the very first time. We invite you to come experience fast-paced collegiate athletics at a friendly price. Visit grizzlyathletics.com for more information and be sure to purchase your season tickets today. Hello, I'm Dr. Darren Wilson, Director of Athletics at Georgia Gwinnett College. Our administrators, coaches, and staff are proud to be one of the newest members in the NAIA. We aim to uphold the NAIA Champions of Character principles by promoting a positive climate for growth while fostering relationships within Georgia Gwinnett College, Lawrenceville, and Gwinnett County. In addition, we embrace our core values for the Grizzly Athletic Department, sportsmanship, leadership, service, responsibility, and pursuing excellence. Our mission is to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedar. We're joined now by head baseball coach, Brad Schaumburg. Coach, it's been a while. How's it going? Very good, Matt. How are you? We're glad to have you back on the show here. Um, you guys have been traveling all over the place. Are you glad to be back at home tonight? Yeah, it's fabulous. We, we like to be home, for sure. It's been a rough, uh, not a rough, but it's been, we've been on the road for a couple weeks. So. I, I don't think any road trip ever goes smoothly, so it's always rough on the road. Well, it is rough on the road in certain aspects, but it's also nice on the road to get away and uh, you be with your team. Now, we alerted to the people that they need to start getting to the Grizzly baseball complex about, I don't know, in about an hour yep. for, for senior night. Yep. How many seniors do you have? We have 15 seniors that will be uh, completing their uh, eligibility this, uh, this other evening. Than, other than football teams that I've been associated with, I don't know if I've ever seen a senior day this big before. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them, and they're all special. Yeah. So it's, it's been a fun year, and it's uh, part of what we started uh, two and a half years ago. Who, who enjoys senior night the most? Is it the coaches, the players, the parents, or the fans? It's got to be the families, I would think. Yeah. Is, is you know, being a parent and seeing your, your child through, and then this is kind of it for their, col their college career. Um, you know, it's probably a culmination of a lot of different emotions from awesome excitement to you know all of the other emotions that go on this is it for them some of them it's it's an amazing it's gonna be a great night we're gonna literally start about 6 30 so we'll get there early to the ballpark it's gonna be a great time a great night um all season long you've talked about the process being o and o one game at yes. a time getting better every day getting better every week where do we stand in coaches' eyes right now in that process? Are we where we want to be? Are we playing our best ball right now? Yeah, we've, we we've done what we needed to do this year with regard to winning, putting ourselves in a position to be ranked um, nationally in the top 25, and then furthermore taking that to the next level and, and potentially being able to get a number one spot in the regional, um, which we were able to host. So I think that the process is, has gone according to a relative plan, and now what we need to do, we need to finish out the season strong. Um, you know, hopefully we can keep... Uh, you know injuries at bay and then go to the conference tournament and put our best foot forward and then you know come into the regional that's going to be at our place and win four games and go to the world series looking forward to that for sure is there something when you go to the ballpark on a game day where you say you know what we're going to do this well today what's the strength of your baseball team uh today right now the strength is our coaches putting together the senior gifts <laughs> <laughs> so we know that that's going to happen today and that's going to go really well um, other than that, it's going to be 75 and sunny, and yeah. um, that's that's really all you can do. I mean, I know that we're going to put a, a good foot forward with Carpenter on the mound tonight, yeah. and uh, he didn't exactly have his best performance of his career uh, last time we saw North Georgia at North Georgia a month ago. Uh, but I think that I think that our guys are ready. Senior night, so it's a special night. There's a level of excitement. There's a level of um, it's just a heightened awareness of where they're at in their college careers. They're going to yeah. graduate. They're moving on, and uh, this is it. Is there something, if a strength is starting pitching or um, gap to gap power, stolen bases, all that stuff we've, we've done well at this year, is there something in coaches' mind we can fix in a day or two? You know, is there something you can do at practice to, to fix a short term problem? Sure, we can work on our uh, situational plays a lot yeah. better, and we did that yesterday in the rain. We, uh, you know, tried to take care of the ball, put some funky spin on it. Um, we did some, we worked on some squeeze plays, some first and third offense and defense. That, that's the little stuff, and we've done it. The, the problem is when you go throughout the course of the year, you really run into, you play Monday, Tuesday, 
off Wednesday, play Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the road. You're probably, you just don't have a whole lot of time to practice yeah. the things that you practice all fall and did really well. So really what you try to do is just review a lot of the things that kind of seem like they're kind of a little bit out of place. Mm -hmm. um, and also, for example, like our ball and dirt reads, we've ran ourselves yeah. out of four innings almost the last five games. Uh, just because we're being a little bit too aggressive and so you know where's too aggressive crazy and where is just aggressive right right and so that's that's really what we try to work on is just kind of tailor them back and bring them back to what it is that we expect and how we win and how we got to the point that we're at right now absolutely I found it amusing because we're brand new and our guys are getting put together and they're in the NAI and they're learning it's been a learning process all year long you literally had to explain to the team what hosting the regional and hosting the opening round Correct. went. And it hit me as you were doing that. I was like, I wonder how many of our fans have no clue what our postseason yeah. format is. Yeah. Explain to me right now where you're going next week. I'm probably what it not to. the person that needs to explain this because I look at today um, and this weekend. But at the end of the day, what happens is that you go to the conference tournament. Which um, is in Boston. Which is in Lynn, Massachusetts. And it's going to be a beautiful weather up there, hopefully, the whole, whole time. Um, but you, you go there and actually our conference gets two bids to the national tournament. So the number one seed or the conference tournament champion and then the runner up, whoever's in that championship game, um, gets to go to postseason, which is the opening round, what they yep. call it. Um, the opening round then consists of five teams with the number one seed getting a bye. Uh, which is a tremendous thing, yeah. and that's really what we've been working for all year is the number one seed by at home in our, re in our uh, I call it a regional, because I'm with you. NCAA, opening round regional, thinks I'm with that there's another, I'm with you. there's another section after the opening round, but after the opening round is the World Series, so right. I think it's more of a regional. I'm so, with you. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are, but Absolutely. we'll just call it the opening round for right now. Fair enough. So the opening round, once you get through those... Uh, uh, those games, the winner of that goes to Lewiston. There's nine regional sites. Uh, Lewis and Clark State uh, has the automatic bid to the World Series, which is a whole other conversation. It's a whole other conversation, and you know we only have a couple minutes left here. So, <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, there's ten teams that go to the World Series, and then I have absolutely no idea what happens after that. It gets weird after yeah, that for sure. So. Is that what you? At what point <clears throat> in the season did you circle? It could have been in the fall during the season. You circled Lewiston and said, man, we got a real shot of getting there. Uh, I circled it two and a half years ago when Dr. Wilson uh, hired me. Um, and so that's that's been the goal from day one is is to get to Lewiston. But, you know, we have, a, we have a lot of games to go before we get there. There's a lot of really tiny plays that are going to add up to mean a lot. And yeah. so we have to really make sure that we focus on what we're trying to do today and then what we're trying to do Friday, Saturday, Saturday. And then, um, you know, we'll see what happens as we move forward. Well, Coach, I can't uh, can't tell you enough. Good luck. I do that every time here. But we're, we're going to see you senior night tonight. We won't see you again till you take off for Boston. So we'll miss you next week on the show. And so good luck. I mean, honestly, good luck. We're looking forward to, to following you, you guys. Thank you, I appreciate that. And it'll be a uh, – we'll, we'll, we'll keep you in the loop for sure. Sounds good. Definitely looking forward to seeing them return back to Lawrenceville May 12th through the 15th. They're going to host one of those opening round – uh, regional sites that uh, we were just talking about. So we'll uh, get to uh, really call it a park. super regional too. It really is a super regional. Yeah. It's, it's super regional. It's, it's the a regional, super regional, or opening round. It's what They're you need to same. know May 12th to the 15th. Right. Grizzly Baseball Complex. Mm -hmm. Be there. He'll be there. I'll be there. We'll take a break. Grizzlies Live at New Cedar. We'll come back and wrap things up. This is the Grizzly Digital Network. Grizzly fans, you can purchase your season passes today. Packages are available for the fall or spring or all sporting events throughout the 2013-14 season. You can find out more information by calling the Office of Athletics at 678-407-5275 or by visiting the game day ticket window. Single game discounts are available on game day, including youth, senior, military, and group rates. Tickets are selling fast as the Grizzlies take the field and compete for postseason championships for the very first time. We invite you to come experience fast-paced collegiate athletics at a friendly price. Visit grizzlyathletics.com for more information and be sure to purchase your season tickets today. Hello, I'm Dr. Darren Wilson, Director of Athletics at Georgia Gwinnett College. Our administrators, coaches, and staff are proud to be one of the newest members in the NAIA. We aim to uphold the NAIA Champions of Character principles by promoting a positive climate for growth while fostering relationships within Georgia Gwinnett College, Lawrenceville, and Gwinnett County. 
In addition, we embrace our core values for the Grizzly Athletic Department. Sportsmanship, leadership, service, responsibility, and pursuing excellence. Our mission is to develop lifelong leaders of character through academic and athletic excellence. Go Grizzlies! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Grizzlies Live at uh, Nuke Cedary, wrapping up the show here. Uh, appreciate everybody tuned in here. We've had great success uh, on the show. Thanks to uh, Sarah Murphy working hard back behind the camera. Uh, thanks to Bruno and the guys. They're taking off to the New Orleans, Louisiana this weekend. Big good luck to them and Coach Hodges. Women are going as well. So both the men and the women are the number one seeds at that conference tournament on the men's and women's tennis side in Louisiana. Good luck to them. Hopefully they return with a trophy and a championship. Um, tonight, baseball, senior night. Again, festivities start at 6.30. First pitch is at 7. We'll have coverage for you right here on our Grizzly Digital Network. Uh, Cat Islandberg squad is taking off to Franklin Springs, Tennessee. Or no, they're going to Talladega, Alabama. Take on Talladega. That's their regular season finale before Cat Islandberg squad comes back here to Lawrenceville. They're hosting the AII tournament. Their conference level tournament's right here at the Grizzly Softball Complex, May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Stop by, check that out, should be a lot. We'll have Coach Eilenberg and the team on the show next week to preview that tournament as well. What am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something. Claw card discounts here at, uh, at Nukes. We've got uh, Grizzly Club is still going on. A lot of great activities to wrap up the year. You can be included on, off to a great start there as well. Uh, senior nights tonight, we got that covered already. What else am I forgetting, Sarah? I think that's about it. Uh, Grizzly Game Bites newsletter, always a great thing. Sarah's a part of that as well. Um, and as always, be on our website, grizzlyathletics.com. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the other good stuff. I'm Matt Mahoney. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. This is Grizzlies Live at Nuke Cedary on the Grizzly Digital Network. I'd like to thank all of our corporate sponsors who have made today's game possible. You can watch this game and previous games by clicking the On Demand tab at the top of the page. In addition, you can watch coaches' shows and weekly feature stories all on the Grizzly Digital Network by clicking the On Demand tab as well. For the latest information, including game recaps, schedules, and so much more, visit grizzlyathletics.com.